Taking on a challenging situation in a video game and coming out the other side by the skin of your teeth is a feeling pretty much unrivaled anywhere else in life. It might have taken you hours, days even, to take down this one particular boss or enemy, but thanks to your patience, skill, timing and perseverance, you finally managed to fell this foe. Now there's nothing more to do than waltz over and relieve this chump of their pocket money, right? Oh, hold on, why is a cutscene triggering and now why is the boss back on their feet and kicking my ass through a window? How is that fair? However, such is the surprisingly common trope of video games rewarding your dedication and combo mastery with a big fat old middle finger in the form of a gameplay victory to cutscene loss situation. We might get a little reward or trinket here and there, but the enemy in question will not only escape unscathed, but will absolutely banter you off like it was nothing in the process. So let's take these absolute rotters to task today as we name and shame those who have taken the L but rewrote history to make themselves the victor. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are eight times you lost thanks to a video game cutscene. Number eight, Genichiro Ashina, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. As is pretty common in a FromSoft title, the opening boss of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is there to teach you one lesson and teach it bloody hard. That this game will not hold your hand, and as is the case of our protagonist, will actually go one step further and cut the damn thing off. Genichiro Ashina is not to be taken lightly at this early stage, as he will carve through your defenses like butter and will usher a new player into a swift defeat with only a few slices. However, for those that have completed the game already or are just natural duelists, it is possible possible to get the better of Genichiro in this encounter. Unfortunately, this leads to him being an utter prick in the cutscene that follows, as despite taking him down, an unseen goon distracts you before he then takes the opening and cuts you down. It's an unbelievably scummy move, but then again, as you'll find out in the narrative, he's a figure that's very desperate to attain power by any and all means. Number 7. Wesker – Resident Evil 5 Throughout the series, Albert Wesker has made a name for himself as being the biggest, baddest scenery chewer in the entire Resident Evil canon. He is so utterly, utterly cheesy and over the top, but that just makes him all the more brilliant and all the more sobering when he utterly kicks your ass across the many boss fights that he has. That being said, Resident Evil 5 places him in a truly weird scenario, as in Chapter 5, not only do you have to take on Wesker, but a brainwashed Jill Valentine. In a battle that is both outstanding and a little deflating if you manage to do well in it. To better explain, Wesker states that he only has seven minutes to play around with you before he has to get on with his busy schedule of being the best B-movie villain ever. Now, to be fair, he has a right to be cocky, seeing as he can dodge your bullets and then slide right on up to you in seconds before delivering a kick that would give regular humans an out-of-body experience, but it is possible to beat him. Through some truly heroic acts like, um, well, shooting him in the back and luring him into traps, you can down Wesker. However, in the next cutscene, he's all patched up, sauntering away like it was absolutely nothing. This leads Chris to fall into an obvious trap, leading to another boss fight with Jill. I mean, you do get the Heart of Africa treasure for your troubles, but still, bragging rights in this little trinket aren't as good as pieing off this smug twat. Number 6. Zakian and Zamazenta – Pokemon Sword and Shield by the end of most Pokemon trainers' playtimes, they will have amassed a crew of severely overleveled fighters that will make gym leaders and other would-be challengers soil their comfy shorts. Such is the way of any RPG that lets you grind for EXP and rewards hunting down rare Pokemon by trawling through fights. Hell, even some of the supposed legendary Pokemon won't even be able to get a look in thanks to your powerhouse collection. And while it is a little deflating to best these supposedly amazing beasts, at least they have the common decency to lose definitively which can't be said for Zakian or Zamazenta in Pokemon Sword or Shield. Now, early on in the game, you encounter one of these legendary rare creatures and are forced to battle them. This is meant to be a scripted event and you're supposed to lose, but some players, through skill and perseverance, have managed to take the creatures down to zero, which rewarded them with literally one or two EXP and a cutscene that dictates that you actually got your butt kicked. It's not exactly the best message to send to trainers when the remainder of the title tries to teach us to never give up, but there we go. Number 5. 
Kai Lang, Mass Effect 3. So Kai Lang might well be one of the most hated Mass Effect villains in the entire franchise, as not only is this chap an absolute gloater when it comes to professing how cool and edgy he is, but he's also the bastard that kills best boy Thane, also in a cutscene by the way, meaning that you have no impact over this. However, before all of this, Shepard can encounter Kai Lang on Thessia in a boss battle that is utterly infuriating and completely unsatisfying. The battle takes place shortly after the elusive man has tasked the assassin with claiming something that belongs to Cerberus, and it's a fight that is possibly one of the worst in the entire game. With the help of a gunship, Kai Leng saunters over, attempts to carve you up like a turkey, but then returns to recharge his batteries in the center of the arena while the gunship takes shots at you. It's infuriating to be caught in the open and have the vehicle rinse your health, as is waiting for Kai Leng to recharge the Duracells in his shields. However, once you finally beat him, the bastard claims the upper hand by destroying the temple and escaping unscathed. Cheers. Number 4. Lara doesn't quite make the jump. Tomb Raider 3. The Tomb Raider games have always managed to provide moments of true jaw-dropping action. Whether it's barely surviving a treacherous slide down a spike-filled gauntlet, making a pixel-perfect leap of faith to grab a platform, or diving into a pool of water that is just like threading a needle, but with your body, every game makes you feel like an absolute badass for pulling off the impossible. However, that's not to say that Lara is as deft and capable once a cutscene kicks in, as over the years we've seen her beaten up by goons that she was easily dispatching mere moments ago, barely being able to climb up ledges that we've just witnessed her doing fancy gymnastics on, and of course failing dramatically at a quad bike jump in Tomb Raider 3. Here, the player lines up the jump, hits the gas full pelt, and somehow absolutely butchers the landing thanks to a cutscene, despite us acting out scenes that would put the great escape to shame in previous sections. Lara instead crashes, knocks herself out, and is then captured by her enemies. It's not a great look, but it does also prove that it's not just enemies that can feed you a cutscene loss as sometimes it can be yourself. Number 3. Viktor Saitsev Vanquish After all of the absolute insane things that you've witnessed come Vanquish's closing act, the player, under the guise of Sam Gideon, is going to be chomping at the bit to take on Viktor Zaitsev, the Russian mastermind behind all of the weaponization of the solar platform that you're fighting on. As you slide, grind, and unleash, well, every bullet in existence, you eke closer to confrontation. And when two super-powered battle suits drop down and Viktor calls you to dance, it's quite the palpable moment. It's an incredibly tough battle to balance both Victor and the other suit as both will try to get up close and personal at every chance possible. However, through sheer willpower and screaming every B-movie one-liner possible, you can make it through. Only to find out that neither battle suit was actually Victor and that he's already left the space station. Uh, okay then. While you might have won the battle, you've definitely lost the war here as Victor returns home, his mission complete, and you're left with empty platitudes and a future that is very uncertain. Ouch. Number 2. Virgil – Devil May Cry 3 the sibling rivalry between Dante and Virgil in the Devil May Cry series rises far above just brothers arguing over which toy belongs to who, and often when the pair meet, we'll see chaos and destruction rain down on everything nearby. Such a conflict takes place in Devil May Cry 3's opening sections as the brothers square off to once again argue about their father issues and push each other's buttons. In the ensuing fight, the player, as Dante, gets to show off all of the neat tricks the gun for hire can muster and will take down Virgil in short order. However, as the cutscene triggers, all of those cocksure moves that you've been pulling off fall by the wayside completely as you take your own sword to the chest thanks to Virgil. Well, in fact, you take it twice in quite brutal fashion. The scene is played, at first, like Virgil always had the upper hand despite being beaten by Dante, but by the end, with Dante back on his feet and displaying his true power, Virgil is shown to run away from the battle, which makes it a weird case of you winning a fight, losing in a cutscene, but actually coming back stronger. And number 1. Android 21 – Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I know I sound like a broken record at this point in time after writing about this title so much, but Fighter Z, -Z, 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 Fighter Z whatever you want to call it, really is an impeccable fighting game. The graphical slickness is matched only by its swollen roster of great fighters, and it's all held together with gameplay that feels like the next natural progression of the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Take notes, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, this is what you should have been like. However, while the narrative is enjoyable and the fights spectacular, that doesn't stop the title from dishing out losses at the strangest of times. Take, for example, a truly righteous moment when the player gets to take on Android 21 in her 
evil form as the ultimate big bad and smug machine on legs that is Perfect Cell. As fans of the series know, Cell was a huge thorn in the Z Fighter's side, so it's actually quite cathartic to unleash that power on someone more deserving for a change. Now, don't get me wrong, the battle is pretty tough, but for seasoned vets of the game, it won't pose too much of a challenge, which is why it's all the more strange to see that post fight, Cell has taken a knee, complaining that he is no match for her, Cell runs away, while 21 gloats about her easy victory. I'm sorry, were we even watching the same fight? And there we go, my friends. That was eight times that you lost thanks to a video game cutscene. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below, as well as any other choices that you might have for a list of your own design, because who knows, I might return to do this as a commenter's edition further down the line. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on the socials, over on Twitter, at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, as my personal gaming channel, where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, my friends, I just want to say, even though sometimes that life can deliver us a loss in the form of a, well, quite realistic cutscene, aka our own perception, that doesn't mean that you are down and out for the count. Everyone will go through trials and tribulations in their times, but you have to dig deep and get back on your feet. Because you only get one chance at this life, and you need to make the goddamn best of it. And you deserve love, happiness, and success, and you should fight tooth and nail to get those however you can. But you're not alone. With the support of friends, family, and professionals in the support industry, we will help you get there and live a healthier and happier life. Big love from me to you, you massive ledge. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.